Yo, what's up beautiful people of YouTube? Welcome to Dom's Media Zone. Today's video is a really short and quick one. It's a tutorial on how to set up bookmarks in Canon's Digital Photo Professional 4. I'm going to show you how to easily add your folders to the bookmarks and also how to set up collections. A collection is almost like a folder where you can store a whole bunch of similar photos. So for example, if you have a collection of bird photography, you could start a new collection called bird photography and just add all your bird photos into that collection. Or if you do landscape, landscape photography, you could have a collection called landscape. So I'll show you today how the bookmarks and how the collections work. So without further ado, do enjoy. Hi everyone and welcome to today's tutorial on Canon's Digital Photo Professional 4. Today I'm going to show you how you can add your files and folders to the bookmarks for easy access in the future so you don't have to always scroll through your files to find where you keep your photos. You can just add them to your bookmarks for easy access. And the second thing I'm going to show you is how to add photos to a collection. So a collection you could create new collections and create different kind of collections. Maybe you want all your holiday photos from the year 2021 or maybe you just want photos of birds or uh, maybe photos of historic sites whatever your collection you want you could create them over here so i'm going to show you both of these things today so let's begin by showing you how to add photos to bookmarks so if you have multiple folders where you keep your photos and you don't always want to click around to look for them there's a very simple way to add them to this bookmarks tab as you can see it's currently empty and in my folder tab say for example i've got a folder here holidays where i store all my holiday photos all I have to do is right click on that folder and then select bookmark and once I click on bookmark my folders here for easy access in the future. Now this is really cool because you can do this with numerous folders. So say for example, I've got Photoshop fun photos here, which is currently empty, but I can go and add this folder to the bookmarks. And for example, another one, pictures to work with, which I sometimes use, I can add that to the bookmarks as well. So now if I go on bookmarks, you can see all three of my folders are here and they can expand. So all your photos that were in here, all the folders, they move along with it. So now the next time you open DPP4, you can easily find all your folders with your photos where you store your photos. This is one great way to organize things in DPP and then you don't have to use this folder structure where you have to look through all your folders to find the correct folder with your photos. All right, to delete a bookmark, it's very easy as well. Just right click on it and say remove bookmark. That just removes the bookmark from here. It doesn't actually delete your photos or your folder. Your folder still exists, just not in the bookmarks anymore. So that's a really simple way to organize your folders with photos using this functionality. And then if I go back to my folders and I want to show you now how the collections work. So to start a collection, first thing you need to do is click add collection. Now I'm going to call this holidays 2021. And now I have a new collection here. So now what I want to do is find photos or folders that I want to add to this collection over here. So if I've got a holidays folder over here and say these are the three places where I've been to this year, what I can do is click on the, for example, Isle of White photos and say there's about six photos over here. If I right click on the folder, add to collection, pick your collection that you've created. Now keep in mind, you can create numerous ones. So then you'll have more options here. Click on your holidays and you can see it added six photos. Now I can go ahead and do the same with my next folder, which is a holiday to Rye, add to collection, add to holidays. Likewise, I'm going to do that with Whitstable, add to collection, holidays. And now you can see this 15 photos, which is all the photos in all three of these folders are now in my collection. So if I go ahead and click this collection, I'll be able to go through all my holiday photos for 2021. Now, this is just for demos. These aren't the only photos I took, but these are just the ones I put in the folders to show you guys how this works. And this is a great way to kind of organize different themes or different kind of photos that you want. So for example, you could have a landscape collection, you could have a portrait collection, all sorts of things like that you could organize using these collections over here. And that's the tutorial for today. It's really short and easy, but I hope that this helps you out. I know it can help someone who's got tons of photos and needs to find a good way to organize them. So thanks for watching and I hope you enjoyed this. Thank you very much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed this. I hope it helps you out. If it did, do give me a thumbs up. I really appreciate those. And do subscribe to this channel if you haven't already. So thank you for watching. Stay safe, take care and goodbye. Thank you.